Hi, I'm Dr. Weiner. I'm a bariatric surgeon, and I answer questions that uh, patients send me from really around the world. And today I'm going to tackle post-pregnancy weight gain after a gastric sleeve. Uh, as a reminder, if you're interested in asking a question, you can go to my website, drweiner.com, and scroll down a little bit. You'll see a little button that says Start Recording. Um, click there and then allow access to your microphone from either your tablet, your phone, or your desktop or laptop computer and record the question, make sure it sounds okay, and then send it off to me. It comes in my email and then I make a video about it. Uh, so let's listen to today's question, okay? We've got actually two questions, uh, very similar. I put them all together um, and we'll discuss them uh, once we hear. Hi, Dr. Weiner. Um, this November, I will be four years post um, a sleeve gastrectomy that was very successful. Um, I started at 260 pounds and got down to 160 pounds. Um, I then had a baby. He's about 12 weeks old now, and I am struggling to lose the additional about 20 pounds that I gained in that pregnancy unrelated to the baby itself. So the first kind of 15 to 20 pounds I lost very quickly. It was the baby and all the excess water weight and all of that. Um, but now I'm struggling to lose the additional fat that I gained during that pregnancy. And I'm curious to hear from you whether there are other patients you have seen that have struggled to lose this weight. I know that um, you talk about the kind of hormonal aspect of weight loss, and I'm wondering if there's anything special um, pregnancy related Related. Any help is much appreciated. Thanks so much. Definitely something other people. Hello, Dr. Weiner. I have a question about pregnancy post gastric sleeve. I was sleeved a year and a half ago. Started out at three thirteen, got all the way down to two sixteen, with my goal weight being at two hundred, ideally one ninety nine, and uh, I ended up gaining about twenty five pounds. And now that I am post pregnancy. Uh, about five months post-pregnancy, and I haven't been able to lose down to my goal weight, and I'm kind of concerned that my set point has stuck to where I am now at about 2.30. Um, any kind of input on this? Is this a pregnancy-related thing with the gastric sleeve that you've noticed? Am I gearing myself into needing a revision? Thank you. Okay, two great questions, very similar questions. One patient is four years out from their sleeve, the other is 18 months. One patient had a baby five months ago, the other had a baby 12 weeks ago. One is 20 pounds up from their lowest weight and the other is 15 pounds up from their lowest weight. So really very similar situation. So let's talk about what's happening here with post-pregnancy weight regain. So again, as a reminder, we all have this intrinsic set point that's defended and governed by our physiology. We starve ourselves, we drop a few pounds, our body fights back with increased hunger and decreased metabolism. We eat too much, it's actually typically relatively easy to lose that, those initial first few pounds that we gain. Your body has less hunger and an increase in metabolism. And really weight loss surgery works by lowering your set point in your brain, by changing in the, in the, um, uh, one of the patients, she was 316 and she got down to, I think, around 216. She dropped 100, um, 100 pounds. Um, and her set point essentially right after surgery changed from 316 to 216. And then her body was on this overfed side of this, the, her metabolic thermostat. She had no hunger, increased metabolism. But now we're starting to see it creep back up. It's creeping up to 230 pounds or it's creeping up 20 pounds um, in the other patient's um, uh, question. So why is that set point going back up? And I think it's really important to understand that there are many factors that cause your set point to go up and not all of them are eating too much. And if we're going to be successful in our weight loss struggles, then we have to recognize what these factors are and minimize them as much as possible. Some of them are preventable. Others like pregnancy is really to some degree not preventable. So things like medications, food addictions, when you eat processed junk food, you eat more than when you eat unprocessed food. Sugar sweetened beverages, major set point raising food. Yo-yo dieting, your genetics, and in this case, we're seeing pregnancy and menopause. And absolutely yes, pregnancy and menopause are two life events that can cause your set point to go up. You had the surgery because your genetics 
were primed for you to easily gain weight. And after pregnancy, it's not uncommon for post-bariatric surgery patients to gain 15 or 20 pounds. Um, other things like stress and depression and altered sleep patterns could also raise your set point. But here we're talking about pregnancy and menopause. So yes, this was a life event that caused your set point to go up. So now the question is, what can you do about it? Before we get to that answer, I just want to kind of make a little public service announcement here um, for anyone um, who's pregnant or, be, or thinking of becoming pregnant. There is never a moment in time in your entire life when it is more important that you eat incredibly well for the first reason, which is what we're discussing, that it's very easy to gain weight and have that set point creep up after pregnancy or during pregnancy. And so when you eat really healthy, you kind of, you don't fuel that fire and you minimize the amount of weight you, uh, you gain and ideally can, can de um, decrease the amount that your set point's gonna go up from weight loss, from pregnancy. But also, and as if not more importantly, the in utero experience environment of your unborn child will directly impact their likelihood to develop obesity. We see this already in studies that demonstrate that, that mothers who consume large amounts of artificial sweeteners while pregnant tend to have uh, larger babies and their babies tend to have a higher rate of childhood obesity. That in utero environment dictates the child's future metabolic health. So put your child on the best track that you can and eat pound of cure friendly foods like fruit and vegetables and nuts and seeds and beans so that you don't endanger or, or increase your, your child's chances of developing childhood obesity. It's likely that they have the same genes that you do that that predispose them to obesity. So give them every chance you can to, to, to live a life where they don't have to struggle with their weight uh, the way you've struggled with yours. So this moment in time is so critically important. So getting back to what do we do about those 15 or 20 pounds that you've gained from pregnancy? And really, this comes down to what we do anytime that we gain weight. And it comes down to a systematic evaluation of the four ways that you can lower your set point. It's nutritional change. That means eating higher quality food, not eating less food, but eating more higher quality food, fruit, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and beans. So in this situation, I would put, if these patients were in my office, I would put them both on our metabolic reset diet um, and, and, just, and work on getting that weight off as quickly as possible. The longer it's on, the harder it is to lose. So one, in one situation, we had a patient, uh, one of the people was uh, 12 weeks out, the other was I think five months out from pregnancy. The person who's 12 weeks out has a little, is gonna have a little easier time losing that weight than the person who's five months out just because they're further out from the weight gain. So get on that metabolic reset diet immediately and eat better than you have in a very long time. It's not easy being a young mother and following the metabolic reset diet, but you know, you've put so much into this. You've accomplished so much with all this weight loss that we have to do everything we possibly can to preserve it. Building muscle, assuming it's okay with your OB, it's time for you to hit the gym and not just to burn calories, but seriously high intensity exercise designed for building muscle. We're talking about Orange Theory, CrossFit, boot camp type classes, lifting weights, high intensity yoga, high intensity spinning classes, um, things where you're really sweating, really working hard, you're sore the next day and you're building muscle. When you build skeletal muscle, it brings down that set point. Medications, and this is actually a really valid and reasonable place to explore medications. Even some of the less effective kind of temporary ones like fentermine or fendimetrazine, which can lower your set point, but you can't stay on them for a while. But in this case, because that set point elevation is relatively recent and it was caused by something we know, this pregnancy, something like that to get those 15 or 20 pounds off and then to work through, through nutrition and exercise going forward to try to maintain that lowered set point is a very reasonable thing. But again, this is step three. This is not step one. You don't go on the medication first. You first implement the nutritional change. Then you work on the exercise and build some muscle and then if that's still not working, then you can add the fentermine or, or fendimetrazine or another weight loss drug. And I would really refer you back to your bariatric surgeon or primary care doctor or a weight loss clinic or wherever you feel like you can get a trusted evaluation and get placed on the right medications. 
And then finally, revision surgery. 15 or 20 pounds, I think, doesn't really warrant revision surgery. One, one of the users asked, am I headed toward revision surgery? I would say, no, I don't think you are. I think this is a problem that you can solve. You're on it, you're thinking about it in the right direction. Let's come up with a plan and implement it and get the weight off because it doesn't have to be a permanent set point elevation. By changing your nutrition, by changing your exercise, and maybe using a little bit of medication, you can bring that set point back down. So for more information, nutrition course number one on drweiner.com um, goes over this idea of the, the causes of set point elevation and the four ways you can lose your, uh, lower your set point. Um, course number two is the metabolic reset diet, if that's how you want to get started on this. Uh, and bariatric course number five, which addresses weight regain, is also something that may be helpful for you. And then, of course, you can check out my books on Amazon, How Weight Loss Surgery Really Works, just came out a few weeks ago, um, and A Pound of Cure, which is my nutritional guide. Thank you.